Hello everyone and welcome to a quick video on how to get BTTV emotes to show up in a chat box like so down in that bottom right corner. So uh, if you watch my previous videos, I've talked about how to get them on your channel, how to get them to show up on screen, how to get them to show up in your Streamlabs OBS. But now today we're going to be talking about how to show them in their chat box. Um, so the question actually came from Ali VR and they said their issue is that when I use BTTV emotes, I want it to be shown in the chat box on stream as well instead of just lettering. Because if you um, if you use another software for your chat box, it's going to show just the letters of those emotes and not the actual emote. Um, you know, it seems normal in chat, but on the chat box, it's just spelling. You know, how can I fix that? So today's video, Ollie, I hope you are watching. I'm answering your question. If you have any other questions about um, BTTV streaming, anything like that that I can make a video on, please comment below um, and I'll be sure to get to it. So uh, let's get to it. So for those of you that don't know, my name is actually Cody. I considered doing Sir Panda Frost, but that, I know it's quite long and wordy and all that fun stuff. So I didn't do that. I did Cody. Figured I'd get a little, we got a little crazy today. Let me go ahead and make my display full screen. Let's go ahead and transform, fit to screen. If you haven't subscribed yet, please, please, please hop over there, subscribe, check us out on Twitch, all those fun socials, um, and be sure to truly become a part of the community. So what we're gonna do is hop over to our favorite stream elements. And really, this is super, super easy fix. If you're using Streamlabs or any other software's chat box, odds are it's not going to work. Stream Elements has BTTV integrated. It has it so it can show up on screen. And again, we're going to hop over to Streaming Tools, My Overlays, and I have a I, I would do a separate source for your chat box so you can kind of move around, use it on different scenes. I wouldn't really group it with your um, alerts and stuff like that. So you'd create a new source if you don't have this source made already. Sorry, I'm battling my cat who's trying to join the video. Um, <laughs> And you're going to click this plus button down here, and you're going to find Gato. Please, I ask thee, do not interrupt my video as I do everything in one take. You're going to find the chat box um, stream tool. You're stream right here. Your streams chat in real time. I do apologize for the little delay on that. Like I said, my cat's trying to join. I'll show her at the end of the stream uh, for anyone that's interested in seeing my cat. So you, you add the stream chat box, you're, you're going to create the source, you're going to save it, and here you can edit it, you can edit the size, text, all that fun stuff. And I'm actually going to go back over to OBS and send something in chat. It's going to pop up over the stream, you guys should see it unless it's off the screen. And there it is. And with that, you can go ahead and format it on your stream where, it wants, where you want it to go and all that fun stuff. So it's that simple. Honestly, stream lab, stream labs is good, their alerts and stuff are good, but they really don't have that BTTV integration, so you're not gonna get the moving emotes, you're not gonna get on screen emotes. So if you don't have a stream elements account, I greatly, greatly encourage you to do so. And that's it, I'm gonna grab my cat real quick for those of you that are super interested. If you haven't done so, be sure to like, subscribe, all that fun stuff, truly become a part of the channel. Here's my cat, there you go, beautiful. Be sure to like, subscribe. If you have any other questions, comment them below and I'll make a video on it and hopefully it helps. Thank you all for watching. Adios.